welcome to RBN. I'm Oren. I'm Jenna. Today we'd like to report on some great news from Piketon High School. Last week the school student council hosted a blood drive that turnout was incredible. The student council was thrilled to report that a total of 52 pints of blood were donated and the amount will save a total of 156 lives. It was achieved thanks to the hard work and dedication of the school's student council as well as the students, community members, and faculty who generously donated. But that's not all. Because 50 more pints of blood were donated, the Red Cross agreed to provide a scholarship for a Piketon High School senior. The scholarship will help students with their post-secondary education. We'd also like to extend a special thank you to Piketon High School Student Council for their great work. Unfortunately, I was not able to donate any blood because I'm on antibiotics because I had strep. And Orin, what about you? I went to donate blood. They pricked my finger and everything, but I was also on antibiotics, so they did not allow me to donate. But our special guest, Jacob, did donate blood. Jacob, how was that for you? It wasn't bad. It was just a little prick. Did you feel like you were going to pass out and walk us through it? No. Too stubborn to pass out. Did you get like a cookie or anything? Yeah. And a juice? Yeah. Would you, rec would you recommend? Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, since I wasn't there, um, my boyfriend did donate blood. How was, how was Charmy donating blood? Charmy was pretty good at the first of it. Um, he needed juice at the second part. They only got a pint out of him. He almost threw up. He didn't take it too hot. Yeah. Should have been there for him, Bailey. That's my bad. We do I, have I pictures, though. We do have pictures. Unfortunately, I'm such a, such a bad girlfriend. I'm <laughs> sick, and I cannot get over my sickness. I but I was there someone, for Someone else picked up your life. Now I'll show Jenna and Evan for the sports. Way too short. It's that time of the year again. Spring sports are starting up. Athletes from Python High School will be competing in track and field, baseball, and softball this season. Last week, a friendly baseball scrimmage was held between Python and Waverly that benefited the Zach Plum Memorial Scholarship. It was a great game with Python coming out on top with a score of 6-3. to three. The Zach Farmer Memorial Scholarship is a memorial scholarship fund in honor of Zach Farmer, a former high school student from Python who passed away in 2012 from complications of a rare form of cancer. The fund has been established to provide lasting support for scholarship opportunities for Python high school students who aspire to further their education beyond high school. It was a great way to honor Zach Farmer and to benefit the scholarship fund. We are so grateful that the baseball scrimmage was able to raise $512 for this cause. Thank you to everyone who donated and participated in this amazing event. Now on to track. Are you a girl who loves to run? Are you looking for a great way to stay fit and have fun while doing it? If so, we have the perfect opportunity for you. We're looking for more girls to join our junior high and high school track team. Competing a track is an excellent way to stay fit, build confidence, and make friends. Even if you don't love to run, there are options for you. If you're interested, please message Miss Allie Shaw or Mrs. Angie Taylor. Thank you for watching. Tune in next week. And check out our TikTok. Kaiser looked at the solid rock in his hands and felt concerned. He walked over to the window and reflected on his urban surroundings. Bruh. He had always loved Grand PHS with its foolish Fafdorking fields. It was a place that encouraged his tendency to feel concerned. Then he saw something in the distance, or rather someone. It was the figure of Dallas. Dallas was a smelly elephant with slimy fingers and skinny fingernails. Ka <laughs> Kaiser gulped. He glanced at his own reflection. He was an admirable, sweet, cocoa drinker with chubby fingers and brown fingernails. His friends saw him as a wild, wicked writer. Once he had even saved a quick blind person that was, st <clears throat> that was stuck in a drain. But not even an admirable person who had once saved a quick blind person that was stuck in a drain was prepared for what Dallas had in store today. The sun shone like skipping rabbits, making Kaiser ecstatic. As Kaiser stepped outside and Dallas came closer, he could see the wide smile on his face. Dallas glared with all the wrath of 6,818 witty mutated monkeys. He said in hushed tones, I hate you. I want more Facebook friends.
Uh. Kaiser looked back, even more ecstatic and still fingering the solid rock. <laughs> Dallas in my shorts. Kaiser regarded Dallas's slimy fingers and skinny fingernails. I feel the same way, revealed Kaiser <laughs> with a delighted grin. Dallas looked worried, his emotions blushing like a helpless hard hat. Then Dallas came inside for a nice mug of cocoa. The end. <laughs> Who did it? Them. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> this is awkward as fuck. Hey, we have pictures of this. Shrummy. 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 Too bad Shrummy's girlfriend wasn't there to cover it. Because another girl did. Oh, Oren, Oren started. <laughs> this is Bailey's false. Bailey's I was not there. I was sick. Oren is no other girls. Okay, it's on. Say whatever you want, everyone. Thank you for donating blood. I wasn't able to donate blood because I was sick, but thank you to all that did, so I can get a scholarship. <laughs> Give me three. Kaiser, you ruin everything. Bruh. <laughs>